Ladies and gentlemen, we have a brand new NXT Heavyweight Champion. It is Carry On Cross. What a match it was. I'm about to hop into all of these matches. NXT TakeOver. Man, what a night. We had AEW Dynamite. I'll get into that at some point. But NXT TakeOver, ladies and gentlemen, great as usual. What do you expect? Nothing less. You can find me on Twitter at 2 sweetpod That's the number 2 sweet pod and at OMG Corey B. Like this video for your boy. Like this video. So we're going to hop right on into this thing. First up, we had Timothy Thatcher versus Finn Balor. And man, I said this on Twitter. Finn Balor's run, his NXT run, his current run, just think about it. It just has not been as good as we thought it would be. Just not at all. Just just go back to when he turned heel on Johnny Gargano. I thought that this run would just be tremendous. I thought it would just be one of the best runs in, in all of wrestling. It just not has to be. And it has not, excuse me, been that. But nevertheless, Timothy Thatcher, a very good wrestler. What I love most about this match is it went outside of the norm for NXT and we got we went old school man back when i was a kid uh matches used to be about working body limb parts and there are a lot of people that don't like that because there's not a thousand canadian destroyers uh it's not a hundred near falls and it's not a bunch of topes over the top rope it's simply working body parts and i appreciate that about timothy thatcher i love that about his style so we got that in this match I liked it overall, and a very fun match. The Finn Balor picked up the victory after taking some losses. Uh, most uh, recently, he picks up the win. We'll see what happens with Finn Balor going forward, man. Uh, will he be on the main roster? Will he continue to run in NXT? We shall see. Moving on, we had North American Championship on the line. Uh, in the latter match and this was a very fun match man i'll go through some of the spots i felt like damian priest was gonna win this match going in man the velveteen dream situation i talked about it on youtube it just does not feel right to see that guy in a match at the very least this guy should be off of television programming with all that's going on with him that's just me but nevertheless some of the spots in this matchup man it was very fun man uh, we had the Cameron Grimes leg split in this match like a lot of fun spots we had going on multiple topes even Bronson Reed got in there and, and got him a tope in there that was very interesting as well uh, Damien Priest doing the Shelton Benjamin run up on the ladder into a tope that was tremendous as well but the spot of the match, man, poor old Velveteen Dream just got sent over the ropes. And I was like, man, from the ladder over the ropes, I was like, man, Velveteen Dream is just dead, man. <laughs> the dude is dead. But nevertheless, at the end of the day, Damian Priest picks up the win. Can uh, Candice LeRae got involved in this match as well. Uh, we had a splash with Bronson Reed and Candice LeRae on Johnny Gargano. This was a very fun match. I very much enjoyed it. And Damian Priest. Look, I was out on this dude not too long ago. I kept saying, man, I don't find him interesting. But lately, they've built him up very well. And I've enjoyed what they've done with him. I cannot wait to see what goes on in this North American title reign. So I'm interested, man. I'm very impressed by him. And speaking of impressed, Adam Cole versus Pat McAfee, McAfee as we move on. There are a lot of questions going into this match. What is Pat McAfee going to do? And I tweeted out. Before the match, I said, I'm weirdly intrigued by this matchup. And, man, Pat McAfee, I'm just going to do this right now. Job well done. The match went far and beyond any expectation that I had. Pat McAfee stole a show at NXT. Who would think that he had a tremendous top rope senton onto everybody and man, 
the spot, the, the moment of the match, Pat McAfee doing a back, top rope backflip into a suplex, and I, man, he 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 looked like he belonged. You know, you watch some of these wrestler versus celebrity matches, and it looks like someone who's never been in the ring before. I can go through a lot of them. Lawrence Taylor just looked like he'd never been in the ring before. Snicky at, at WrestleMania at the time. I looked like she'd never been in the ring before. Pat McAfee, they did a great job of making him look like he's been in the ring before. There were good near falls in this matchup at the end of the day. Adam Cole picks up the victory. And it was a fun match. How about that? For a match that I had very low expectation for, it turned out to be a good match. It belonged on a takeover card. They they completely won me over. I think that Pat McAfee should like like man sign him up. I think that he, he deserves more matches, man. That's just me. When I see something like when I when I I was annoyed by Pat McAfee getting so much time, and when the guy goes in there and does that. I just got to be truthful with myself, man. We should, he, he should deserve more. And like, I, I want to see more of him. Job well done, Pat McAfee. Moving on, Io Shirai versus Dakota Kai. This was a very fun matchup. Like I expected nothing less from these ladies. Man, I love me some Io Shirai. She definitely has a claim to be the top women's wrestler in the entire world today. Uh, some great spots in this matchup. I didn't necessarily like the ref bumps. Like, even though it did not play into the finish, which I can, uh, to which I can appreciate. Still, we could have done without the ref bumps in this matchup. Io Shirai picks up the victory at the end of the day. Ah, a very well done matchup. I had a lot of fun watching this matchup. Uh, Rhea Ripley comes in out of nowhere, stares down Gonzalez, and what's gonna go on there? I cannot wait to see what happens. I, I, I cannot wait. We'll, we shall see as the weeks goes on. And man, moving on to the main event, Killer Cross. Excuse me, Carry On Cross versus Keith Lee. Look, man, I've been saying for weeks now, NXT is in a no-win situation. Either Keith Lee is going to lose, which I knew that was going to happen from the start. Either Keith Lee is going to lose, and he's going to be a transitional champion, or Carry On Cross is going to lose, and you're going to blow all of that momentum that that guy has. What we got was a fantastic matchup. Again, surprise, surprise, we went old school. We went limb targeting. Killer Cross was targeting... Uh, Keith Lee's arm, and it was something that I very much could appreciate. Like, I, I love those type of matches because what it does, what we've gotten into in these new age matches of this day, we've lost storytelling in a match. And when you target a specific body part, it tells a story in a match. And that's what we got in this match. It kind of turned into an MMA match for a quick second there. Like, I uh, appreciate how Cross went after the arm. And I appreciate how uh, Keith Lee did whatever he could to fight out of it, to reverse it. Like, it turned into a fun match, a physical match, a very physical match early on. Toward the end of the match, you're thinking, okay, Killer Cross is going to get the submission win. But surprise, surprise, he picks up the Doomsday Saito win from the middle rope. Killer Cross is your new champion. Carry on Cross, excuse me, your new champion. And it, it, it was a surprising near fall. Like, I didn't expect the fall to go down right there. But it did. And we have a reign of terror coming in NXT. Like, I, I feel bad for my boy, Keith Lee. Like, they took the North American title off of him. And now he out on the world championship i don't know what's gonna happen going forward but <sighs> carry on cross who's his next opponent that's what i'm thinking right now and i cannot wait we had chopper the tease for chopper he's gonna be on nxt this wednesday i, I could see that going down 
we shall see so let me know your thoughts carry on cross the champion in the youtube comments or on twitter at 2sweetpod or at omg great